Okay, folks, obviously that wasn't the very next minute. I think it was 8.05 when I decided to change to the next video, and it's already half an hour later. Anyways, but I figured it th something out. Const gl uint um, num particles. We're just going to go 5,000. <coughs> <coughs> Cough medicine's really working. Making me cough. No. <laughs> He's a class. We're just going to call this class. We're going to call it particles. Okay. Public variables. Okay. And so we're just going to continue on here. I, d I decided that we're going to go ahead with the number of particles being declared as a constant, and I can go ahead and put this probably at the top of the uh, file here. Just put it at the top of the file. That way you'll be able to find it in the future. And change it at will. Change it at will. Okay, you can even put it in main somewhere, or in main CPP. But Anyways, so here's your point stuff, and so you've got this to transfer over to your variables. So you go under public, put it in there. Uh, of course, it's in the point class, so we don't need to. <laughs> so right here, we're just going to go num vertices. Okay, what in the heck? Num vertices. Okay. And then, what else? See, I'm just going to see that we do all these things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we already have our vertices, and we don't worry about texture. Uh, we already have the speed of the particles. We don't need any of that stuff. We already have the VBO and VAO, right? And the buffer. I don't think we need much else. Scale factor, no. Rotation factor, no. Bounce, no. Okay, so we just need our functions. And we're probably going to do the same functions or similar. So we're going to copy these down there. And this, these are just down at the very bottom with the variables in public. So, boom. <coughs> Bind VAO is good. Draw particles. I like that. And update particles. I like that. I like those. We like this. Num vertices? Oh, num particles. Duh, Jeff, what are you doing? Oh, I'm sensing a sneeze coming on. That's why I kind of paused and talking there. But it's still coming on. <laughs> okay, so the first function we're going to make void. Yeah, it's right there. So we're going to go down here. Void particles bind VAO. Okay. So to do that, we just go into main, we find where we actually do that for the particles, points, I mean, init points VAO, what do you know? Okay, so then we're going to take that and go into the actual function here, and this is where See now, bind VAO, isn't this where we use this? Or no? Yeah, see, we use this. And I don't know why. So let's figure that out. <laughs> There's a big old red thing. Okay, so and this PVAO. 
<laughs> that was funny. Okay, this one's just this. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. This is easy. Size of p vertices. P vertices. Okay. This one. And I don't know why. Okay. V position is that still a thing? Better change it. Zero, one. Let's just go here. Zero, zero, one, one. <coughs> okay. So this might be done. Buffer offset, isn't that used up here as well? In the bind VAO? No? Oh, they just use this. Well, let's just use that. Don't go flippity, flippity on the screen. Because buffer offset is a um, a macro. Which we could probably get from main. I think it's at the top here. It's already defined. We could use it and everything, but let's just not. Let's just not and say we did. Okay, we did. <laughs> there. So bind VAO is done. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now it's no longer underlined with a green squiggly. He. <laughs> okay, so um, continuing on. So p vertices. Here's the initialization. So um, we really need to put this inside the class. Um, what are we doing? What What are you doing? Draw particles up to or bind VAO. Um, so do we need an init function? Let's just do an init function void. Um, init particles. I kind of want to leave it a small i, but whatever, put it a capital I. Void. What was that? Something in my kitchen made a noise, and it wasn't something in the kitchen. I don't know. Oh, wait, what are we doing? Uh, void particles. I, for I forget how all this stuff. Yeah, particles. And I don't know why. Okay, so then we just want to take this initialization. Boop. Copy it in. To here. And then this becomes um, num underscore particles. You see. And then this is good. And all this is fine. This right here becomes this p vertices all the way down and I don't know why what am I singing? I don't know <laughs> there we go okay I like how that one guy said I'm like the Bob Ross of OpenGL tutorials like hey we'll put a happy little this right here We'll come up into the class and we'll put, you know. <laughs> okay, draw particles, update particles. Oh, we're getting there. You know, don't rush me. Don't rush me. Okay, so we took, we're taking code out of the main, which is actually great because that's what should happen. Uh, when you make classes, it makes your life easier. Shader for GL points. Okay, we're still going to leave that in here. Bind VAO, bind VAO. Oh, yeah, we took it out, so we probably should call it. Right? <laughs> We're just going to take take out the code and then never use it. 
init player character, init characters, init actual platforms. Okay, so right here, it's just we haven't even instantiated our our particle thing. <laughs> So we have to instantiate it. Particles. We just want one. So particles. Um, but what are we going to call it? Just system one. Does that work? And then we go system one dot init particles. That should work. And then down here, just to put it with the other bind VAOs, we'll put it down here. We'll just go system one dot bind VAO right there. Actually, let's just, yeah. Okay, instantiate initialize particle system. Okay, so that's great. Okay, so we got the init particles, which we didn't expect to do. We've got the bind VAO, which we just called in the main. Okay, draw particles, update particles. What's next? What's next? What's next? Okay, so probably getting close to the draw particles part. Where are they? Where are they drawn? And I don't know why. Okay, so we probably should leave the um, rshader.use in the main. So down here we're going to leave this in the main. Okay. And enable setting point size in the vertex shader. Let's leave that in the main. I don't know why it's in the main loop. It could just be in the initialization. Yeah, I don't know why that's in the main loop. Let's get that out of the main game loop. Let's just go right here. Okay, okay, pass Jeff. I don't know what you were doing. Don't know what you were thinking. Okay, we're good now. Update sprite, draw this, our shader. Okay, so find points VAO and draw points with OpenGL. That's pretty much it. This is the draw points function. This is it. So we're going into here. Going particle. Yeah, void particles. Draw particles. Void. It's not a thousand. This is a this, okay. Bind points, VO, and draw points. We don't need that. We know what this function does. And of course, we need to go back here where we took it out. Draw particles. And then, of course, wait, where do we update the particles? Oh, it's currently not even done in here. So, oh, and these guys just do it right before the draw call. So, <coughs> update particles, which should give an error because it's not defined yet. But it will be. It will be, I promise you. Hmm. Right now. So what do we want to do? <laughs> with the particles? What do you mean, what do we want to do with the particles? Um, nothing yet. Nothing. We're not doing anything with them yet. 
So does this all work? Did I break anything? Are there a lot more particles now? <laughs> There's a lot more particles. Okay, that's fine. At least it works. It works great. Okay, so thank you for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe. And tell your friends to like and subscribe. They don't have to like, but if they subscribe, that'd be great because I need subscribers. I only have like 26 right now. So thank you to everybody who subscribed. I think you guys are awesome. I look forward to hearing your comments, positive or negative, in the uh, comment section below. Projects would be great if you guys are working on projects. And links to your YouTube channel would be awesome as well. Because I will... Um, I would like to uh, look at what other people are doing and see if I can even experiment with some of their stuff. Um, okay, anyways, uh, thanks again, and uh, I'm sure this is going to be the last video of the night, because I'm just going to play video games, take some medicine, and go to bed.